Next, a story from Baltimore. City leaders built a broad coalition to help solve a problem for students there, access to vision care. William Brangham reports for our weekly series, Making the Grade. Cover your left eye for me. Left. Mm -hmm. Can you see that line under the red line? Vision checks at the start of the school year are routine for many students around the country, and it's the same here at Matthew A. Henson Elementary School in Baltimore. Reading those little letters from a distance is no problem for some. D C Z O T D P. Cover your eye for me. Can you see that? But for others, read that line again for me. D P C Z L F T. Is that all you can see? For kids with poor vision, their parents now have to start a long and expensive process. Eye doctors, opticians, buying glasses. We live in a community where unfortunately so many of our children live below the poverty line, where there are many barriers to care, including transportation and ability to pay. Dr. Lena Wen is the health commissioner at the Baltimore City Department of Health. Even parents finding out the process of getting those test results relayed to parents or insurance and reimbursement, all these were barriers to care. Dr. Wen helped usher in a new program called Vision for Baltimore. It provides eye exams, two pairs of glasses to every student who needs them right in their own school, and it's all totally free of charge. About 25% of our school children needed glasses but we're not getting them. I mean, that's estimated to be 15,000 to 20,000 of our kids who end up having to look at the blackboard and it's blurry and they don't know why and think that it's normal. First, the city health department identifies which students need glasses. A few weeks later, the national nonprofit group Vision to Learn arrives at school in a mobile eye clinic to prescribe lenses. Eyewear retailer Warby Parker donates the frames. Meanwhile, researchers from Johns Hopkins University study the students' academic progress after they've gotten the glasses. We can tell you that we've already done over 18,000 screenings of our children. More than 2,000 of our kids have gotten glasses. Regardless of ability to pay, within three years, we're going to ensure that every child in Baltimore City, K-8, through eight, who needs glasses, will be able to get them. Chloe Mangrover is a second grader at Dr. Bernard Harris Senior Elementary School. Last year, she was part of the first group of students to receive their free eye exam and pair of glasses through the program. Well, I didn't have glasses, I couldn't see the board, so that's why I can't see in the front. Her grandmother, Deboris Jackson, says Vision for Baltimore is a huge help for their family. Her mother works, you know, and that's time that she ain't got to take off, you know, from work for, for her to get, you know, to say about her getting her glasses or whatever and this handle and I'm her backup, so what she can't do, I do. That is so very considering I don't drive. When she's in school and she can't see, you know, the blackboard, she might hear it, but she can't really see without her glasses. Okay. Maryland law requires students get vision screenings in pre-K and first grade, but not again until eighth okay. grade. <laughs> Keep going. That's a big gap for kids whose eyesight may get worse during elementary school. And while some health insurance plans cover one pair of glasses per year, if something happens to those glasses, parents have to buy new ones. What we expect is that it will definitely show a positive impact on their academic scores. Dr. Megan Collins at Johns Hopkins Hospital is one of those tracking the student's progress. Look right at this shoulder now. Her past research makes her optimistic. In 2014, she studied 321 elementary students in Baltimore who were given eye exams and glasses. Kids who we gave glasses to did better on their reading assessments than kids who didn't need glasses, showing that there was a potential that giving them glasses was improving their reading scores. So you've gotten glasses before. So you've Amber Singleton is an optician with Vision to Learn. She travels from school to school helping kids get the right prescription. Keep looking at those colors, even if it's blurry. We pretty much do a pretest, just kind of get a starting point for the prescription. Um, and then once I have that preliminary information, I send them back to the doctor. They'll do a full exam. After the exam, students get to pick fashionable frames in black, red, pink, or blue. I pick pink because that's my favorite color. We returned a couple weeks later to Matthew A. Henson Elementary School when students got their first pairs of free glasses. Well, hello, how are you? What's your name? Fifth grader Markel Gibson is getting her first pair ever. How cute are you? 
<laughs> I like them. So how much of a difference do glasses really make? I asked Markel to read a simple book with and without her new glasses. Here's how she read without them. But mother said the little one, why do you love me when sometimes I am naughty and run away when you are trying to dress me? I never said I stopped loving you when you are naughty, did I? It's his mother. Try that again with your glasses. But mother said the little one, why do you love me when sometimes I am naughty and run away when you are trying to dress me? I never said I stopped loving you when you are naughty, did I ask his mother? Do you see how much faster you're reading now? That's pretty great. Amber Singleton, who's fitted dozens and dozens of kids, was moved to tears seeing Markel read so much better. I don't get to see them when they go back to class and I've never witnessed I mean, the immediate difference, like that was proof in the pudding. <laughs> Definitely. That's great. Yeah, I teared up. <laughs> that was awesome. Wade Brown is the local program director for Baltimore Vision to Learn. Children don't know to tell you they can't see in most cases. A child trying to read for their parent and having difficulty reading, to a parent means they just need help with reading. So they're thinking, okay, let me help you with the words. Still missing that it's not the words, it's the vision. It's got to be a pretty great feeling to see the transformation when a kid puts those glasses on their face. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And see, for me, it's personal because I, I'm one of these kids. So to, to know that I'm doing something that's making an impact earlier, that quite possibly can make a greater impact in their lives as they grow, uh, it's, it's the greatest feeling in the world. While Vision to Learn operates in at least 18 other cities around the country, its Baltimore program is the largest. And with dozens more schools to visit, they say their work has hardly begun. Absolutely amazing. In Baltimore, I'm William Brangham for the PBS NewsHour.